Hey guys, Cosmos here from Dolly Games and in this video I'm going to be explaining to you how to find bosses in the wild and for this I want to give special thanks to Axel from server 520 for sending me this information and I'm going to use his explanation uh, to, to make this video and uh, I'll draw it out also um, be, uh, also for you guys to easily find it. So you know, as you know in the wilderness you got a kind of uh, a flat two dimensional map <coughs> so I'm gonna uh, make a representation of it here so uh, say we got this this box right here um, is our wilderness uh, we're gonna make it this color whatever and um, right now basically I'm, I'm, I'm in the coordinates of whatever 489.69 doesn't really matter what matters is uh, basically that the top left part of the map if you scroll over there, actually I think I saw something here. Uh, the, the the top um, left part of the map is kind of the beginning. Um, nice, 80 elite. I'm gonna um, yeah, I just wrote down the coordinates for this one to catch it later. Um, so the top left part of the map is uh, the beginning. So I'm actually uh, very close to the top. So as you see here, the second coordinate is the vertical and the first coordinate is the horizontal. So I'm actually kind of on the closer to the top right side of Arundel map. Now, um, the maps have different dimensions as well, but the logic is the same. So on the top left, you have um, here, for example, in this box, you have the coordinates like 1, 1. And that's, uh, that's kind of the beginning. And in this box over here, uh, you got the coordinates of um, basically the maximum like for Arundel it's 500 500 so uh, if we click over there 500 and 500 they'll bring us to the to the actually a hey, it's more it's not I thought it was 500 uh, 587 592 so basically 600 600 is the the max here 600 600 so it goes from one uh, kind of vertically um, uh, all this way from here from 100 to 600 and 600 and um, trying to use some Excel so basically um, this is the way it goes so if you go down if you go to the right side then in this box you're gonna have then uh, one on the uh, horizontal uh, sorry uh, one on the vertical but uh, five, uh, 600 on the horizontal so 601 so if I do that actually I'm I'm walking but okay I'm on um, horizontal going to right side you see the 500 is becoming 600 so that way um, you can basically coordinate yourself there you go there you go found the edge of the map so I'm now somewhere uh, a little bit lower than the top right so about 600 and 171 and and like likewise on the bottom left of the map is going to be uh, one is going to be one and 600 so um, this is important because you got the bosses uh, described here and you have one two three four five bosses uh, written down and uh, two are killed okay it doesn't matter but say so if you want to find a particular boss actually the way they're arranged is the way it is uh, shown on, on the map so uh, I'm gonna take a picture of uh, current boss information right here and I'm gonna put it down so this is basically uh, what what we got we got the, the, the map which is um, you know pretty clear uh, two-dimensional and we got the bosses on, on the left and there are five bosses so then what you want to do is to understand how to find the bosses you divide the map so um, into um, I'll, I'll just do it roughly not not exactly so uh, we have to divide it into five parts so here I got about 26 rows so it's about five rows or six rows each so this is going to be kind of sector one uh, and this is going to be kind of sector two is going to be it's a bit too much sector three one more four and five so that's four sectors, uh, five sectors, sorry, um, shown like this. You divide it horizontal like that. And basically that first boss uh, right over here, uh, this first boss is going to be on this top 
section and the second wash is going to be in the second section and the third one is going to be in this section fourth one is going to be in this section and uh, the fifth one is going to be in this section so coming down uh, coming back to the map what that means is that if i want to find the spirit of dark for example uh, then i know that from here to here it's 600 so if i divide 600 uh, i'll just do it roughly here if i divide 600 uh, into five sections it's about 120 so that means that this coordinate over here roughly uh, i'll just draw it roughly so this is going to be 600 and 120 so then uh, the next coordinate is going to be 600 and um, 240 and the next one is going to be 600 and 360 and next one is going to be 600 and um 480 and then 600 600 so that means if you want to find spirit of dark you want to walk between 120 and two uh, and 240 so actually i'm in that range so i'm in 175 so 240 is about here and 120 is so it's it's two three screens um height and and then of course horizontally so you walk two three screens so one screen let's say from where i'm standing right now let's try to get it exact yeah i'm now exactly on 200 if i move to the top part of this screen i'm going to be at so half a screen like this for me is say 10 points so um, that doesn't matter too much. So uh, you can you you might be playing on maximized screen, then you can see more. Uh, and if somebody switches on the light, um, then you know exactly in which band you should look for the boss. So the spirit of dark here is going to be in this band. So if so, if you want to find that boss, you just go over to the first. You go over to the coordinates, uh, which which are which are actually where I'm standing. So 600 is 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 good and uh, you don't have to go there in person you can just scroll there because uh, before your friend switches on the light for example you can just scroll into that zone uh, and best is either on the left side or on the right side because then you can just scroll um, right or scroll left and just go quickly on um, on that horizontal section and you should be able to find the boss so that's the system uh, that uh, thanks to Axel for for sending the explanation for that on uh, maps which are of course uh, bigger than 600 like 900 then you need to split it into um, into equal regions uh, as well so that's actually how you can do it and, and that can save you a lot of time uh, when looking for uh, for bosses um, otherwise for monsters I don't th I don't know of any rule like that for bosses um, is good so uh, also if you're alone uh, and searching for like titles for example and, and you you're jumping to uh, like a lower level map uh, looking for lower level bosses to kill for titles uh, you can totally do it that way and even if you don't have those items to to uh, you know uh, remove the dark you can just uh, go horizontally um, on 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 the on the section so for example at 240 you make sure you go down um, so 240 is going to be the maximum that means that if if I am around 200 and say 30 230 235 especially on a maximized map so I'm just moving down to 30 so that's about 230 so I, I'm at 230 and I see up to 240 so if I'm here, I basically can walk uh, between about 240 and, and um, 210, something like that. Um, or maybe 210 is too little. Basically, I am plus, plus minus 10, 15 is what you can see. And so um, if, if I'm in this range, I can just walk horizontally. And then when I hit the wall on the right or on the left side, depending on which way you want to go, then just move up because the boss can be found in this map between 120 and 240 so if you've done the section of the two uh, of the 200 200 to 240 then you can move down to 150 to 200 
um, basically you should be able to find the boss uh, much easier than of course randomly looking like all over the map wherever you are so uh, that's it it's a really cool um, way of finding bosses and uh, I hope you guys find it useful of course if there are four people uh, walking then basically each one uh, say um, this region so each one can walk one path so for example one person walks uh, this one let's make that yellow and another person walks uh, horizontally on this one and another one uh, walks horizontally on this one something like this basically uh, just uh, to, to give you the impression another one can cover two for example uh, going yeah, whatever Going on this one four people can find the boss much much easier of course also by removing the darkness can find the boss uh, Also very quickly if you're more people, you know scanning the the, the zone uh, as fast as possible so uh, that's it you guys i hope you find that useful please do click on uh, like and subscribe below the video uh, it helps always and it also helps when you guys share on facebook twitter google plus or anything else that you're using if you have ability to help please uh, become my patron even uh, even like a dollar a month is awesome you can see the link in the description with the explanation also uh, if you haven't bookmarked my website, dollygames.com, very easy to remember to bookmark. Uh, and uh, that's it, you guys. Thanks for watching and have a very nice day.